Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Asafa Zaman Wasi. Today I will tell you a story which name is The Camel and the Baby. One day a camel and her baby were chatting. The baby asked, Why do we have big humps on our back? The mother replied, So that we can store water and survive in the desert. The baby asked again, Mother, why do we have rounded feet then? The mother replied, So that we can walk comfortably in the desert. Then the baby asked again, Then why do we have long eyelashes? The mother replied, So that we can protect our eyes from the desert dust or the sand. The the baby camel thought for some time and said, So we have big humps on our back to store water, rounded feet to walk comfortably in the desert, and long eyelashes to protect our eyes. So what are we doing in the zoo? The mother staggered. The moral of the story is, your strength, skills, knowledge are useless if you are not in the right place. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am Zafira Zaid from Everest International School. Today I will tell all of you a short story named Good Company, Bad Company. Two parrots built a nest in a banyan tree. They lived with their two young ones, which they took good care of. The mother and the father parrots went out to gather food in the morning and came back home by the evening. One day, when their parents were away, the young parrots were taken by a cruel hunter. One of the birds managed to escape and flew away from the hunter. He ended up at a hermitage and grew up listening to kind words and compassion. The hunter put the other parrots in a cage, and soon it learned a few words and classes. The hunter and his family were crude and didn't care much about kind words. One day, a passerby was resting outside the hunter's hut, sensing someone's outside. The parrot said, Fool, why are you here? Fool, leave, I'll cut your throat. Scared, the traveler went away, and on his journey, he reached the hermitage where the other parrot was. The parrot at the hermitage spoke, Welcome, traveler, you are here to stay as much, as much as you want. Surprised, the traveler told the parrot that he encountered a similar parrot elsewhere, and it was very cruel. How is that you're so kind? The parrot replied, That must be my brother. I live with the sages, and my brother lives with hunters. I learned the sages' language, and my brother learned the hunters' language. The company we keep decides who we will be. The moral of the story is, Keep a good company if you want to be a good person.